Welcome back. Today, uh, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Ashford Asylum Suicidal. And today I've got, today's the Weeb episode. Every now and then you gotta have a Weeb episode, okay? I read a, uh, I read a manga yesterday. I'm not gonna tell you the name of it, because I'm gonna spoil the ending. Um. But, uh, I read a manga yesterday. It was, it was, like, weird. For, like, 80 chapters or so. And, uh... Like the whole thing was kind of weird, but I, I liked it. It was it was cute. It was I liked it. it, it the the whole premise of the story. Again, I don't want to give you too much information because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who might be watching. But um, the whole premise of it was was rather strange from the beginning. But I enjoyed it. I liked it, and then I read it all the way through to the end, and the ending, the last chapter to exist ever ends with them with the uh, with the male with the uh, the female lead being pregnant by the uh, by the male romantic interest and uh, the last like scene in the entire manga is them celebrating that they're about to get married so I'm like you really just ended manga with them about to have a kid and about to get married. You couldn't just go like one chapter farther and show them getting married and show them having the kid. <laughs> like you just you just had to end it right before the good part happened. <laughs> like why? What the heck is wrong with you? I was so mad. So I've uh, I've tipped over to the uh, to the boys' love again, over to the the gay romance, and. Uh, you know, gay romance, it's its harder to find long, good gay romance. Because I, I like manga that are longer, right? Like, all things being equal, I will pick the manga with more chapters. 100% of the time. If you give me a manga with 20 chapters, and you give me one with 180, and you give me one with 340, and, you know... They're all like, oh yeah, no, they're like a typical, you know, BL romance. I'm picking the one with 340, 100%. I just, for me, the longer I get to be invested in the characters, even if the writing kind of suffers because of the the length and and uh, whatnot, as long as it doesn't suffer to the extent where I feel like it's dragging on, um, which is unlikely to say the least, um, then I'm gonna enjoy it more because I get to to spend more time with the characters, you know. Um, Something like Switch Girl kind of falls into that category of being a uh, dragging on. You know, like they get together and um, they have good times and then they just kind of keep the story going and just kind of keep introducing, you know, like now we have this plot point. Now we have this thing. Now they have to go do this thing. I'm like, yeah, you know, like just, just make something of like consequence happen. You know, make, make something that, you know, it's, it's like everything that's happening is it just has no meaning. There's there's no impact, you know. Um, so I've, I've kind of stopped reading Switch Girl. And it, like from the beginning, it was kind of a, a meh manga anyway. Uh, people recommended it because they uh, they say it's similar to Horimiya. And to a certain extent it is, but it doesn't. Comparing the two is blasphemy, to be quite honest. Um, so, anyway, I've been reading some boys left. I read, uh, Dear Green, which was 22 chapters, and uh, it was, it was good. I, uh, I like, I like, I like boys love a lot more, generally speaking, um, because, generally speaking, the, the, the writers that, that write boys love, like, are doing it because they themselves like want to see this relationship you know what I mean like like it just there, there's a lot more there's less sort of dicking around in boys love you know what I mean and more to, to you know in in, in, uh, in another in another in another sense but um, you know like in the uh, in a typical romance, you might have the characters kind of like go a long time without uh, seeing the without recognizing that they like each other. 
And while that does happen in, in Boys Love on occasion, it feels better because they're facing a problem that is, like, real, you know? Like, one character might realize that they like him, and then the other one is kind of like, I don't know, like, I kind of feel weird, but, like, that's gay. I'm not gay, you know? And they, they have, like, that kind of, like, internal um, dilemma that they have to, to kind of face. And, uh, you know, kind of focus on building that. And that's that's fine. Whereas in straight stuff, it's like, oh, no, she doesn't like me. It just kind of, like, ends there. And, and it's just this weird, like, back and forth of who knows what. Which is also enjoyable to a certain extent, but is, uh, is annoying at times. And it doesn't really happen in boys' love. And then also, the relationships tend to be more mature. I'm impressed by your survival um, you know, a lot of the stuff in, like, straight romance, um, like, a lot of the time, the, the climax, like, the full end of the whole story climax is them kissing or holding hands, you know? That ain't nearly the climax of their, uh, of their romance in Boy's Love. No. <laughs> Not even close. Um, there is almost always full-on sex, <laughs> and uh, you know it's not always drawn ex like explicitly. Um, oftentimes it is. In fact, perhaps most of the time, but it's not always drawn explicitly. But the characters always do. Well, not always, but like largely do end up. In a in a uh, in a very intimate relationship, and to me, that's just better, you know. Not because like I want to like, not because I'm like horny and I want to, you know, read two guys going at it, but just because to me, it makes the relationship feel a lot better. It makes it feel a lot more realistic and intimate with each other, and it just, it, just, it 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 builds the relationship up in a, in a way that I feel like you can't without getting them to that point. Uh, in a story, personally. Um, and, and maybe that's due to me viewing um, you know, sex as, as a fairly important part of relationship. Um, but I just like, when, when, when the characters you know, just kind of end on holding hands, I'm just like it's not, a, it's not important. Like, it's, it's nice to, to hold hands and you know, lean on each other on the bus or whatever. Like, it's, it's nice don't get me wrong, but that's not the climax, you know? That's like, first date. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's... It's not the climax of the whole relationship. You can't really end it there. It feels unsatisfying and unfinished. Um, whereas with, uh, with the boys' love, they'll often go all the way. Uh, they oftentimes will either get married... Or will, you know, not, because they, like, legally couldn't at the time of the manga being written. Um, can they? Is gay marriage a thing in Japan? I imagine it is, right? It wasn't before. It wasn't anywhere before. Um... Seems like yes, it is. I thought I, I figured it would be because it's legal almost anywhere. Um, that is like not Russia or something. That's you know very verbally anti-LGBT. Um, but it wasn't before, right? So you know when the manga was written, it's not like they could get married. But, uh, you know, they, they, they progress to a point of uh, being a, a satisfying relationship. You know, moving in together and, um, you know, kind of in their own way. Um, committing their uh, their lives to each other without necessarily having to, to undergo the, the whole formal marriage ceremony. Um, or, you know, more recently, uh, they will get married. You know, it's, ju it's just the, the relationships in Boy's Love tend to be much realer to me much more, I don't know, 
I don't know how to explain it, but uh, to me, they just they just feel better than um, than than a lot of the relationships in in typical straight romance stuff. And I say this despite my favorite romantic manga, my favorite manga of all time being Horimiya, which is very straight. But at the same time, these people, the, the, you know, it's it's my favorite because they didn't beat around the bush. You know, like they got together pretty quickly. They recognized their love for each other. They've done the deed. You know, like they're 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 a real, you know, like what's the word for it? Relatable relationship, you know, and 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 that that makes it a lot more enjoyable for me. So anyway, I've been looking for some some boys love to read. Uh, and it's just it's hard because uh, they're all short. I just, you know, one of my favorite things to do is have, like, one manga that I read for, like, three days, and I just binge it. And I don't really get to do that right now, because they're all short. <laughs> I've, read, I've read all the long ones. I was reading this, uh, this one called Loveless the other day. I only read a couple chapters. Um, and it, it weirded me out pretty quick. Um, but the, the plot of the story is that kids... Or, or, you know, I, yeah, kids. Um, anybody who's not an adult, I guess, because uh, oftentimes when you say kids, people think of people younger than them, but then, like, also, you know, if you're 17, you're, you're still a kid. Um, so anybody who's not an adult is, uh, will have, like, cat ears and a cat tail. And anybody who is an adult will be just normal human. Um, and there's this weird, like, sexual tension, like, right out the get-go, between this, like, the main character, who's, like, I don't know, 13 at the most, and then this other person, who I don't know how old they are, but they don't have a cat ear or a cat tail, and I'm like, there should be zero sexual tension between these two people. <laughs> there should be nothing. Um... And then there's this, like, girl in it who still refers to herself in the third person, which is really just annoying. I, I hate when characters in, in manga do that. For those who don't know, um, in in Japan, the way you refer to yourself is, is different than in English-speaking places. Um, I believe it's until, like, I don't know. The kids will typically refer to themselves in the third person. Uh, and it, it isn't until they get to like, You're a bloody. as far as I know, like a, a little bit older than than being a child, that uh, that they'll start to use the like I, like Boku or uh, Watashi or whatever. Um. So you know, there are these like thirteen-year-olds in middle school or whatever, and and they're still referring to themselves in third person. It's supposed to be you know like cute or whatever, you know, cutesy. But it's just, it's just really annoying when when manga do that, and then it also is like childish, you know, like that's that's what it is, like that's why it's supposed to be like all cutesy, right? It's because it is childish. It's it's a childish way to refer to yourself, and um, so when when a character does this, especially one who's like romantically interested, I'm like I just it 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 really kind of weirds me out, honestly. I don't really, I don't really like it. <laughs> um, I just, I, 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 I can't, I can't get behind it when, uh, you know, in Japanese, I'm sure it makes more sense. You know, if you're, if you're native Japanese, um, because like you'd be, you'd be used to people referring to themselves in the third person, uh, like you know when they're kids or whatever, like very, very young kids. Uh, but as a Canadian, you know, I don't have that experience, and so when I'm reading this stuff, it, it just feels like unbelievably childish and I just I can't really enjoy it um, at least in a romantic sort of sense you know like um, when I, I guess it's just because like it reminds me that these aren't kids you know or that these aren't adults you know these are these are kids who are like flirting with each other and like flaunting their boobs out and like just, mm. No, I'm gonna just have to pass now. So I read a little bit of Loveless. I, I've heard good things about it from from Reddit when I was looking around for some some boys love manga to read, and I read a couple chapters of it. And I'm just like, yeah, 
No. <laughs> it is highly, highly weird. Not for me at all. Um, so then I read Dear Green, which was which was really cute. Um, uh, and I don't know what I'm going to go and read now. I'm going to have to find something. I'm going to jump on that, dude. Why can't I jump on it? Why are there going to be invisible walls everywhere? Why can't you just model everything properly, you know? I mean, sure, it'll take significantly more work, and okay, yeah, it might add to a lot of the, you know, CPU time on the collision detection, and okay, you know, sure, there's drawbacks, but, like, why can't you just do it anyway? My needs should be more important than anybody else's. Gunfire Reborn has uh, apparently released a new boss, so there's a new boss after the um, after the boat. That's really cool. A new hero as well, so the game's getting some expansions, which is awesome. We'll definitely be returning the Gunfire Reborn series uh, in the very near future. I'm thinking because I would uh, I would love to play that again. Uh, I'm not sure what channel it's going to go on. I'm thinking it's going to go on this one, and we'll just keep the Minecraft and RuneScape stuff whenever I get to the RuneScape stuff. Like, it's coming up on February, and, uh, like, <laughs> I, 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 the, the cutoff day for buying the Premier Club is, like, March, and I really want to buy the Premier Club with in-game currency, so I have to start playing and, and, uh, making some, some, some serious coin. Uh, over in the on the RuneScape side of things, so that I can afford to to actually like <laughs> buy Premier Club. Um, I'm gonna buy it with uh, with cash, real money, my own money for my Iron Man account. Uh, but my main my main RuneScape account, I've uh, when I made it, I made the commitment that it's only gonna be using in-game currency for anything. I'm I'm not going to to spend any real money on it, and it wasn't a yeah. To spite, you know, Jagex or whatever. It was it was more of a challenge to myself to see if I could do it, uh, and I started doing it, and it's been working great. Um, and I've never had any problems with it. And uh, I'm I'm committing to the challenge, you know, not spending any money on it. Oh my days. Um, even though it would be a lot easier for me to just go and spend some money on it and uh, get my Premier Club for like eighty dollars or hundred dollars, whatever it is. Um. It's like it's like a year of membership, right? It's it's cheaper than uh, than buying the year of membership, like month by month. Uh, it's cheaper than buying it for like the whole year up front, I believe as well. It's 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 a cheaper way to do it, and you get a whole bunch of like cool bonuses for it. Like you get some auras and uh, loyalty points and uh, a bunch of other really 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 good stuff. Um. So it's really cool, and it'll it'll be like a, a load off my back, right? When when I when I eventually do it, because then I'll not have to worry about membership for like every couple of weeks or whatever, which is previously I was doing it when I was playing. So, um, but we're we're really coming up on like the cutoff day for when I'll have to start getting uh, RuneScape content made. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out like a, a plan for how we're gonna make that work, because I don't I don't really know how. Hello, y'all see a ghost there? I don't know how we're gonna make it work, to be honest with you, because um, it's like it's like 600 mil, and I have a month, a month and a bit to to get it, which is not that bad. It's like 20 mil a day, which is more than doable. Um, I could do like five hours of Vindicta every day and be done in. Uh, that's like 15 mil an hour, I think. I'd be done in in like you know, a week and a half, two weeks or so. Um, so, I don't know. An hour of Vindicta a day would probably get me there, too. For for the next month. Maybe I could uh, I could make uh, two hours a day for the next month of, uh, of Vindicta and end up getting... I think. I don't know. The other thing is, uh, is I, I could start AFKing a lot more, too. Um... Because I, I did this thing a, a while back where I would play uh, RuneScape on my phone while I was recording or streaming or whatever. 
and I just like do very very AFK stuff and click on the on the rock every so often to, to keep it from lobbying um, it was it was very simple right so I, I could go back to doing that but I'm not sure I'm not sure Because, uh, you know, if I do that, I could get probably... I don't know, I don't, I don't really... I'm not really on my computer that much these days. And the only time when I find it convenient... To, uh... Be on my, uh... My cell phone... On RuneScape is, is when I'm at my computer doing something else. Uh, so that I can, like, lean it up against a... On a, on a little stand and... Uh, just kind of like click on it every so often as I'm already sitting down and it's stationary. You know, otherwise I'm over on, on the couch or whatever and I'm moving around, my phone's moving around and it's not really like, I can't get into the habit of like just moving my hand to the same place every so often, you know, just like thunka, you know. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can get into the habit of taking my phone with me every, and then also like it's, it's I can keep it charged here, um, which is also good. I have a spare laptop too. So I could, uh, I have a couple spare laptops actually. So I could maybe do something with that. I'm feeling generous. I'll auto click I'm RuneScape. Feeling... That way I can get my generous. 600 mil. I'll just bot it. No, I'm not botting. I've talked about it before. I'd love to bot RuneScape, but definitely not on anything that's going to have any effect on my account because, you know, that, that, that feels bad, but botting is fun. So it's, you know, you got to kind of weigh the. I, I, I don't know. I, I've, I've talked about it before, but but really, what it boils down to is I enjoy botting and hacking and and cheating and doing all of these things because the the act of doing it is is enjoyable. I, I enjoy seeing the it complete itself. I like optimizing the the scripts and um, like figuring out how to make it all work. Like that's all a very fun problem solving kind of thing. Um, but I don't like when you know I do that and then I use the stuff I get from it to like benefit my main because I also like playing the game and getting all that stuff myself it's like they're both two fun things um, so I would never cheat on an account that I like actually play on and I wouldn't really play on an account that I cheat on either you know um, but uh, yeah and I'm not going to bottom my main that was a joke but I'll have to figure something out because uh, it's coming up on the cutoff, and I would like to get the Premier Club, so. But anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.